Lockett there was wondering what he was going to do with it, but I think he was calling, his receiver was calling for the ball, wasn't he? He certainly was a problem. He called for it too late, and when he delivered, they were all over him in the secondary and came up with the interception. Buying time to his, now he's hit, and Bridgewater loses. And this is going to get out of bounds, so they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually, and they'll hold on to the football as well. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. If ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. To throw again on second down, Bridgewater, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Third down and six yards to go. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Got a man and he hits him in stride. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. He's thankful right now for that sideline because it could have been a fumble loss instead just a fumble, though they will have to punt it down. You're right about that, but do you think there's ever been a player happier to see his own punter go on the field than him? No. I mean, not at all, right? How fortunate is he that they got a chance to punt it away, and it's not just a turnover at the spot. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here are the Raiders now to take over. They've got the lead yet again in this ball game with their winning streak right now sitting at 10. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Give him six on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Now a throw here. Hauled in. The pass. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. It worked very well there for a first down. And he'll be down close to the first down marker as he gets this to the Broncos 30. Call it a gain of seven and it gets him a new set of downs. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. 
And the Broncos are going to get the football. The onside kick. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And in the early going, the running game, as we see the numbers, it just wasn't on point. Well, now it's gotten more true to form. And sometimes it takes a little while for an offensive line to get in sync because early in the game, defenses throw different patterns at you, different formations, different sets, and you might not block them quite the way you want to, but as you start to get into a groove and you figure out what they're doing, now it all comes together, and that's what we're seeing right now. 42 yards. Line. Off the play fake, Bridgewater. And his throw here is incomplete. Bridgewater. Anthony Frisker, the intended target. And it's third down. Incomplete. He was covered by Antoine Winfield. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. J.J. Watt in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Tackle made there by Jordan Poyer. Poyer on the tackle. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. There on the tackle. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. It's a gain of 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and And to give this time to the tailback. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally down at the 32-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were to... And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Touchdown, Raiders. Henry Ruggs. His fourth touchdown on the year. And this offense continues to pour it on. Tucker now to add the point after. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough. Otherwise, they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. So that winds up a seven-play drive all Told. And it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. Randy Bullock set to kick off. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Take over first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the third. 
30. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. A gain of one brings up third and 12. From the gun, Bridgewater. That's into the hands of Eckler. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Barton, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. The 48-yard line. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Tackle made by Grover Stewart. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A gain of a yard. Brings up second. And he'll give it here to his running back. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. Another carry. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Down at the 42-yard line. Five yards. On Gets it to Hill. It's a jet sweep. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Las Vegas. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Second and 10 now, third quarter action in Denver. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over it, and they got there to break that one up. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 15-yard line. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense... And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Las Vegas. A 15-yard touchdown grab as his guys continue to put this one out of reach in order to lead it. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And that one goes virtually nowhere. Tried to fake extra point, but nothing comes of it. I know they're not asking me, but I'll give you my opinion anyway. I think it's time to erase that play from the call sheet. I guess they figure with the big lead, they can experiment a little bit. But all in all, just go ahead and put that play on ice. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Raiders pick it up. Covered by the Raiders. As that ball got away from him. He saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice. And the Broncos get there and take him down. The now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Here's Eckler to begin the drive, and he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Eckler, the ball carrier, on the stop was Aaron Donald. One yard gain. 
brings up second and nine at the 45 yard on second and nine bridgewater that's complete to his tight end ferkser bridgewater's the reception good for seven it's third down it's a gain of seven brings up third and one They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. The five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Bridgewater on first down. And he finds the tight end, Reed. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Throwing is Bridgewater. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 29-yard line. First and ten at the 29-yard line. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Broncos nothing. He'll get this one to Pittman. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Broncos first down. First down throw for Bridgewater. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second. Looking to throw again on second down. Bridgewater, that's complete right around the eight. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you. And, and that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Jordan Reed. Jordan Reed. His first touchdown on the year. And the Broncos are able to at least make things a bit more respectable. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you keep going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Extra point right down the middle as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. From the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. And the Las Vegas first down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead. But these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. And that's incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision. The field goal is good. Makes the score Raiders 78. 
Broncos seven. So it's not an NFL record, but it's not far off. That'll go in the books as a 61-yard field goal. And wasn't it weird to see a guy line up for a field goal on the other side of midfield? The ball got halfway there, and you thought, no way is that going to make it. But it just kept carrying and carrying, and he winds up sneaking it right over the ball. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Brings up third down and 10. On third down, Bridgewater. The toss here completed to Pittman. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time, fourth down, Bridgewater. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth, and we've seen them do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. They'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. And he's going to keep it here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll look to throw here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. Gets this one to use check. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. Eluding the pressure right. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. After all that, they only wind up with a yard. It's second down. Dancing to his left. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. The Raiders on third down. They've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. This is third and nine, being chased out left. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. That's to his running back, complete. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. Touchdown. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. It's the fullback with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Raiders are pouring it on. 
And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A 10-play drive that time. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Randy Bullock set to kick off. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Seven yards to pick up there. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. At the 32-yard line. To throw is Bridgewater. Now he's hit, and Bridgewater loses the football. Bridgewater Second time in this game, Charles, the ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? Denver has the first down, the play going for 15 yards. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Another Broncos first down. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Here's Bridgewater. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And the Raiders pick it up. Bridgewater's pass complete. A fumble on the play. Always costly to cough up. That football, these defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. But the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now left side on the swing pass. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. A gain of two brings up third and two. Bridgewater again. And he'll find Pittman. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. First and 10 at the 11. To the air again with Bridgewater. Now he's hit and Bridgewater loses the football. Teddy Bridgewater. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Now that gets back some of what they needed, but they're still stuck here with a third and 13. Brings up third and 13. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. He's at the 50, 30. They ain't ready for us. 10, 5. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. 
That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. I have to admit, I'm scratching my head a little bit here trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Just kick the extra point and be done with it. Number two, if you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go to try and pick up some points. At their own 25-yard line. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Oh, this looks like a free play for Bridgewater. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math. They did it well, and it works for them. A short little throw taken in by Reed. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. So that'll be marked down as a 19-yard punt. The Raiders take over first and 10. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. So now a carry here for their fullback. And he's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he'll take this down to the 40-yard line. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. And it's third down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Bears it out toward the corner of the end zone. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, business as usual for them. Well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Quick throw, but incomplete. No good on the big extra point. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead, and oh, there's a fake, and he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward is just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but it's still not going reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory. 
but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. And the Raiders have got him. Aaron Donald racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. After the sack on first down, Bridgewater. Now the ball comes loose. And the Raiders have recovered. Complete. on the play. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game, offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now, first and 15 following the delay of game. Now it looks like he'll throw here, escaping the pressure right. He's going to let this go, back of the end zone, and give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Justin Tucker lining up for the extra point. They had to go. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he gets in. Well, no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Randy Bullock set to kick off. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Short, short kick. One of the up middle here. The Broncos take over first and ten. At their own. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. One last shot now for Bridgewater. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out, on this football game. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Las Vegas, the perfect season remains intact as they move to 11-0 on the year. And they'll...